And welcome to another edition of the Market Marauder Show. Being the market, one trade at a time. If you're new to the Market Marauder Show, it's an investment channel. Helps you to find the best deals in the market. Uh, if that's something you're interested in, make sure you that thumbs up. Definitely helps YouTube out and promote the videos. All right, so today we're going over some of the top EV companies uh, that are out there that I think everyone should be watching. Uh, the EV market has uh, continued to grow uh, based on uh, this proposal uh, of the 2030 greenhouse pollution reduction target uh, aimed at creating good paying union jobs and securing U.S. leadership on clean energy technologies. Uh, so this is a briefing came out April 22nd uh, by the White House. So just going to highlight one section in here. Uh, it's all talking about renewable energy. As you know, the infrastructure bill uh, was just recently passed um, here pretty soon. Um, and I think it's still on Biden's desk. So uh, in here, it just says explored multiple pathways across the economy. The target is grounded and analysts that explored multiple pathways for each economic sector of the economy that produces CO2 and non-CO2 greenhouse gases, electricity, transportation, buildings, industry and lands. Um, and then on here, if we continue uh, to another section on here, uh, talks about uh, EVs um, and how to cut emissions. So um, basically, the goal is to reduce carbon emissions. Um, you all can go read, you know, this, but it says the United States uh, can reduce carbon pollution from transportation sector by reducing tailpipe emissions and boosting the efficiency of cars and trucks, providing funding for charging infrastructure uh, and spurring research, development, demonstration, and deployment efforts that forward very low carbon uh, new generation renewable fuels for uh, for applications like aviation and other cutting edge transportation technologies across modes. Um, investment in a wider array of transportation infrastructure, including transit, rail, and biking improvements will make more choices available for travelers. And so with this whole, you know, 2030 uh uh, reducing carbon emissions uh, solution uh, that they're coming out with. A lot of the EV companies have been rallying uh, pretty high, and so a lot of the renewable energy uh, sector has rallied as well. Uh, but we're going to be talking about some of the EVs because they can definitely uh, benefit from uh, this statement that has come out by the White House. And so let's jump into the first stock on here. First one we have is Tesla, uh, their ticker sign TSLA. Uh, they're on a little bit of a bearish downward trend uh, this week after some things Elon Musk said, as well as him selling off a lot of the shares. Uh, once he announced that he sold off uh, some of his shares, it started to plummet um, to a bearish downward trend. And so it ended the week at $1,030.20, so uh, down $3 or down 3.42%. So if you're not familiar with what Tesla is, you're like, what is Tesla? Uh, these are some of the models that they make. Uh, they have the Model S. Uh, you have the Model Y. Uh, scrolling down, you have the Model 3, uh, the Model X. Uh, and then they also have solar panels as well. Uh, some of the vehicles not listed on here, they do have semis uh, that they produce um, or that they are going to be producing in the future. And then they have the Cybertruck as well um, and the Roadster. So the Roadster, the semis, and uh, the Cybertruck are not actually listed on this main uh, page, but you can go look at them uh, and see their specifications. Another EV company I think everybody should be looking at is Lucid. Uh, Lucid Group has been rallying for the past week. Uh, ended the week on a little bit of a bearish downward trend, but we can see here they hit a high of $48.04 this week, uh, starting off around $33.02. So a nice little rally week for Lucid Group, um, kind of with the infrastructure bill sort of thing coming out um, the same week. Um, this definitely helped push Lucid up higher. So they did end on a little bit of a bearish trend as well, ending at $43.86, uh, down uh, 7 cents in the after hours, uh, down 0.16%. Uh, and so Lucid Motors uh, makes their vehicles um, with the estimated um, range of 520 miles, uh, and that's on a full charge. Uh, maximum power is 1,000. Uh, 111 horsepower, and the vehicles start from $77,400. And so on here, uh, if we look at the lineup, you have the Air Pure. So this is one of their models. has 480 horsepower, 406 mile range. Uh, scrolling on here, we have the Air Touring, uh, starting at $95,000, 620 horsepower, uh, 406 mile range. 
Next, we have the Air Grand Touring, uh, which starts at $139,000 with 800 horsepower um, and 516 miles of range. Um, and then the Air Dream Edition. Uh, and so the reservations are actually closed on this one. It's not available to reserve. Uh, but performance-wise um, and price-wise, it's $169,000 uh, with 1,111 horsepower uh, with a 471 mile range. Or you can get the uh, other one, which is the range performance one uh, that has less horsepower at 933 horsepower, uh, but a higher range at 520 miles of range. And so those are all the vehicles that Lucid makes, and they are publicly traded, so make sure you go check that one out. Next on the list, we have GM for General Motors. General Motors has been on a nice little bullish upward trend as well, uh, based on the news. So we can see they started around $54.54, hit a high of $64.03, then ended the week at $63.60. Uh, so up 20 cents in the after hours, uh, overall up 0.32%. Uh, and so uh, GM makes a lot of different vehicles. They have the Cadillac, uh, but one of the vehicles I want to go over in their EV fleet uh, is the new uh, 22, 2022 uh, Chevy Bolt. Uh, and so on here we say uh, it says that EPA estimated range of 247 uh, miles, um, and this is the electric range on full charge, uh, starting at $33,000. Um, and then the one that's shown on here is $37,500. Uh, and so they have a lot of features uh, for this as well. Uh, adaptive cruise control, wireless Apple CarPlay, and wireless Android Auto. Uh, these are features that are standard in most vehicles nowadays. So uh, definitely nice to see that they have it equipped in this vehicle as well. Um, and this is a car that could definitely benefit from the uh, increased uh, charging grid that is going to be formed. Uh, and so this is uh, kind of a tour of the vehicle. Uh, the front portion almost looks a little bit like the Ford um, Mach-E uh, and so that's kind of uh, the vibes that I'm getting from this with the uh, kind of com compact grille that they have that's the same color as the front. Um, I actually do not have Ford on this list uh, but Ford does have uh, electric vehicles as well. Next on here, uh, we have Go EVW, uh, which is Canu. Uh, so Canu Incorporated, uh, they hit a high of $2.80 uh, this week, um, and so they ended at $2.42. Uh, Canu uh, may be a company that a lot of people haven't heard about, um, and so just want to shed some light on what they make. This is their vehicle. They are taking uh, pre-orders, um, and so they're going to be launching in late 2022, starting around $34,750 for their vehicle. And so they kind of make uh, sort of an SUV so this is like their SUV kind of off-road utility vehicle uh, which can convert over into a truck as well so as far as you know build is concerned this is a little more of the futuristic side uh, of the vehicle um, they do have you know different outputs and different uh, models of this vehicle um, and so definitely go check out Canu uh, they are an American made company um, and so some of the uh, Chinese EV companies, I don't have them on here, but Neo and XPEV uh, being two of the overseas companies, uh, but kind of trying to shed light on some of the American ones uh, in this review. So lastly on here, we have Rivian, which just IPO'd this week. Uh, so they hit a high of $135.20, ending the week at $130.47. So Rivian uh, Automotive trading under the ticker sign RIVN. Um, interesting story about them. Uh, Ford Motor owns 12% of the company and Amazon owns 20% of the company. So essentially 32% of the company is owned by two very large companies. So uh, they do have a large backing uh, behind them as far as financial support is concerned, which could help uh, propel them forward um, in the years coming up. So this is Rivian's website. Uh, they have the R1T and R1S. Uh, if we scroll down here, we can see the R1T uh, being sort of the truck. This is kind of their flagship vehicle, starting around $67,500. Then you have the R1S, which is kind of an SUV uh, sort of vehicle with off-road features, kind of gearing it towards off-road. Um, and then it starts around $70,000. And so uh, definitely go look at these companies. I know Rivian has been talked about a lot since it IPO'd uh, this week. Uh, definitely a good long term play. Um, I know a lot of people were waiting, you know, for uh, Tesla when it first came out, it kind of was um, not really in the limelight, but a lot of people missed out on the opportunity to invest in Tesla way back in the day. And I think this is a great opportunity uh, to kind of get into a, a company that's similar to that. So these are all the EVs that I think everybody should be looking at. Uh, but good luck to everybody about their trading. 
Hope everybody has a great rest of the week. Uh, make sure you drop a comment down below with your favorite favorite EV uh, company down there. While you're down there, make sure that thumbs up. Definitely helps the YouTube algorithm for the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.